So Ali, tell me, how did you actually get started with Hot Rods? In 1976, I went to Bellevue, Manchester for a custom car show and I was absolutely hooked. Just really, really good. Decided that was a horsepower for me. Uh, spent the next 20 years of my life wandering around cars and when I got divorced, decided that I still wanted to continue and vowed I'd only go out with a guy who had a hot rod. Well, Chris, tell me, what did you actually start with and how long did it actually take you to produce this car? Uh, it started as a, it's a body and chassis sort of kit, effectively, reproduction stuff and you start, you, you just go on from there really. But We thought we'd do it in about 12 months but we were uh, hopelessly out on that. <laughs> It took about four years on and off, really, <laughs> sort of, you know, twice as much money and three times, probably three or four times as long. As so it. tell me, what's your favourite part of the entire car? The backlights, they're off a Fiat Brava and they're absolutely brilliant, they suit the car so well. <clears throat> we were struggling to find any lights and when Fiat brought that out, brilliant, really suits it. And uh, you actually did the interior all yourself, didn't you? Yes. How long did that take you? About six weeks from start to finish. I used to get up about five o'clock in the morning, spend about two hours out in the garage, go to work, come home and work in the garage till about half one or two, and then go to bed for a few hours. Um, but it was worth it in the end. So tell me, the ultimate question, of course, that everybody's going to want to know is, what's it like for posing in? <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> pose. Pretty cool. Yeah. The ultimate pose. Ladies and gentlemen, steps to getting yourself noticed. One, build yourself a hot rod. Two, park it in your nearest retail centre. And third, wait. Right folks, the retail centre was just a little boring, so we took our experiment to Parkgate to see what the ice cream worshippers thought. Well thanks to Chris and Ali, and we'll leave them to go and find crowds elsewhere.